G'day, Faintly Saintly here, and today we're looking at a game called Dice and Fold. Now I found this one when I was uh, looking through some of the uh, the June Steam Next Fest event on Steam, and I could immediately tell it'd be something that I would enjoy. Basically it mixes the randomness of dice rolls with the strategy of a card battler cross deck builder. So I'll leave a link to the Steam page in the description if this is something that interests you. You can wishlist it or just check out the demo for yourself. The full game comes out on the 24th of June, I believe. So. Give that one a look as well. And also, if you like this video and want to support me, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot and keeps you in the loop when I release new videos covering new and exciting indie games. So anyway, let's get on with it. So I've given this one a quick run through just to get my bearings before I jumped into this video completely blind. So I have unlocked a couple of characters, which I haven't tried yet, but I just thought I'd um, start from scratch here and give you guys the sort of beginner experience. So what I'll do is I'll just start on the default with the default unlocked character. And basically this guy is the Jack. He's got 26 health. His ability is the Pioneer's Flag, which lets me roll two additional dice. And I activate that by placing a dice here, which is five or greater. So we'll just get straight into this one. All right, so here's my character here. I can roll dice with this button. I have my currency over here. This is my stage progression. And this is an enemy, a vulture. It will do one damage or I can defeat it with a roll of two or greater. Over here, I can earn a bonus gold coin if I take some of my dice and sacrifice them to fill up each of the dice in this bar here. Also, I can activate this ability by placing something five or greater here. So let's roll. Roll a six and a four. So immediately, I can see I can put that six over here and activate my ability. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to roll. And that rolled a two and a six. And you know what? I'm going to do it again. And then we've got a one, two, and two fours. So I can kill this thing quite easily. What I am going to do though, is I'm going to start filling up this with my spare dice. Look at that. So pop that there and he is finished. I'll collect some silver coins for my trouble. When you collect 10 silver coins, they turn into one gold coins, and gold coins are what you spend at the shop, which will be a stage along the way. I've got a few combats first, then a companion selection, and eventually there'll be a shop. So I've won this combat, so let's end my turn, and we'll roll, or so we'll draw the next enemies. We've got a werewolf and a boar. Now the werewolf will need two exactly to defeat, the boar needs four, which I can make up with multiple dice or a larger dice. But the werewolf there, that means it's exactly two. Let's roll. Wouldn't you know what? I've got a two. So technically I could kill either one of these, but I think I will kill the werewolf. Get him out of the way. Click that silver as well. Now this is a red two, which means I can drop this on my health right here and a heal for that amount as well. I don't believe there is a maximum health. Like I start with 26, I could heal right now to 28. Uh, but that's neither here nor there. I can think about that. So I can actually put this dice down here and save it for further for a future turn. So I might do that. I'm going to end my turn. I am going to take two damage. It's fine, but we're going to roll again. We've got a four, which can kill him instantly now. I also have this blue three. Now, even though this is not five, the blue dice means I can complete my skill uh, immediately, basically. So I'll show that now. I'll put that there, and then this skill is active. Let's use it. We've got a five and a red six, which is very good. So I can actually do this again. A couple of threes there as well. So I might even put that three there and work on this over here. What do we call this? Does this have a name? A dice set, okay. Uh, I'm gonna save that four for that. I'm going to, you know what? I might even heal with this. Actually, I might even use both just to get that health up. I might save this one, and I will attack with this one. Click my winnings and move on. Golem and a Lich. So the Golem needs uh, it has two ways to attack it. I need to defeat both of these conditions. So I need an even dice here, and at least seven here. And again, this one is not an exact, obviously, because it's seven. So I can add to that over a, a couple of turns if I need to. And this one obviously just means any dice gets rid of it. But it does seven damage, so I'll want to prioritize that. So I've got two threes and a six. I am going to actually put that there and just use this straight away. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again. 
I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> gonna do it again? Well, uh, I'm gonna do it again. Now. Hello. Unfolds after the seventh turn in a stage. Increased damage of enemies by one. Okay, so obviously if you abuse this and spam dice rolls, this guy pops up and starts making your life difficult. So he's actually buffed their damage and he'll stick around until... Uh, how do I defeat him? I think I have to kill these things first. He's locked. So I have to kill these and he'll be vulnerable. All right. So even I can get rid of easily. Seven I can get rid of easily. You're an any. Before, before I defeat you, I'm going to give a cheeky roll. I mean, he's already out. What, what else is going to happen? Maybe... Maybe I'll do that just to get that out of the way. I'll save the bigger ones here just for the future turn. Get rid of him. And we're done. That's stage four, so it basically just progresses through up to 31, which I assume is a boss. And again, this is only the demo, so there will likely be a lot more variety in the full version. So we have a Void Mask, we need a five and at least three, and then two to kill the Vulture. There's our five. Now, because I need an exact five, I wonder whether I'm worth just taking him out straight away. That might be the safest bet, just to uh, get him out of my hair. Avoid taking any damage. We'll end that turn. Now, we've got a companion select stage. So companions will sit down here with me. They will give me an extra roll, so there'll be an extra dice thrown each time. And they all have their own abilities as well that I can activate. So the Seer needs three odd dice to activate and its power is wisdom of night complete a random dice slot in next stage okay so that could be good that that meaning a dice slot on one of the enemies will be completed without me needing to roll for it which is fine this one is five or up luck of the draw roll a dice if roll a six gain gold coin okay that's interesting so you nearly need you know a five and a six or a six and a six consecutively to get that which is a bit crazy this one is seven and even Peacock's Feather, choose an enemy and decrease their attacks by five. Well, none of these are particularly appealing to me, but at least this one I think might get some use. This one, seven and even, is a bit much. This is just three odds, so I could just chop my ones down here and eventually that'll pay off, so I think I will stick with that one. And we'll move on. Oh, I beg your pardon, this is now an item selection stage, so a shop, basically. I've got Six gold coins, and these are their costs down here. The Nomad's Flintstone. While your hero's health is below five, get plus one dice. I don't plan on getting that low. When, oh, that's a bit hard to read. Whenever you complete an enemy total slot by putting the exact number on it, roll that same dice again. Or when an enemy attacks your hero, gain one silver coin. I can't afford this just, but I think that'll be quite good. If I get an exact hit, I get that dice again, which is potentially very good. I'm going to buy that one, and that will go into my little inventory book here. Which of these are just like trinkets, like, uh, you know, Binding of Isaac or Slay the Spire. They'll just sit there, and they're just active all the time, hidden away in the inventory screen. The dungeon log. Oh, okay, so you got a little bit of a, a history. Interesting. What is that? You've completed the exact five slot of the Void Mask. <laughs> okay. All right, we'll move on. An imp and a lich. I roll again. But they both need any, so I'm pretty flexible here. What I might do is just pop this right here. Roll again straight away. Pop that there. Roll again straight away. Pop that there. Roll again straight away. So I can. I've got three odds, which I could potentially use for this one as well. After rolling seven times. So how many have I rolled? I must be getting close. Uh, I'm going to do this. Just to see what happens. So complete a random dice slot in the next stage. Done. Okay, now we can put any. Any. 
actually. I'm going to put this five over here and finish this to get that gold coin. And I'm going to use these to finish this one off. There we go, up to two gold coins now. That's lovely, and we will move on. I just like the simplicity of this one, it's very chill. Quite uh, satisfying to play as well. So, ah oh yes, okay, so this ability ticked that box already. So all I need is a one to, to defeat this bat. Which I didn't get, but that's okay. I can kill him. I'm gonna roll. There's our one. I could use that to heal, but I think I'm better off just making sure he's gone. Uh, what else can I do? Nothing really, I'm just gonna make this happen. Ah, okay. I forgot about that. So you see that was an exact four. That means I rolled an extra four here, which is nice. And that'll just count towards the damage here. And unfortunately, I can't finish it off this time. So somebody will be taking two damage. Hopefully he's attacking my main hero first because he has a bit more health. Unfortunately, he attacked my companion. So I need to be mindful of some uh, healing dice pretty soon. There's a five. I might save that six. I'm going to roll here. Another five. Uh, get that there. One thing I can do is I can save this. So I can just load that up and I can spend this on the next turn. Uh, which I might do. I'll just get rid of this butterfly. Oh, that's interesting actually. Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll just put that there and I'll keep this one. Come in handy. Move on. There's another item selection stage. I've only got three coins, so I can't afford these. But every stage start, plus one dice for first roll. You know what? I actually don't mind that. So we'll add that to my collection and we'll move on. A homunculus. <laughs> and a rat. Sorry, every time I think of homunculus, I think of Smiling Friends. It's just a their iconic hom homunculus reference. Uh, okay, a couple of threes. Ah. Uh, no, I can actually, yeah, I can take him out. I got this three in return somehow. I don't see how that works, but anyway. Uh, I think I will roll. Oh, that didn't pay off, did it? Um, load that up again. What do I do here? Maybe I'll just look at uh, filling up some of these. As long as I keep five there. Actually, that's five, two and three. I'll pop you there. Oh, nice, that copied the three for me. I'll hold on to these, and next turn I just need a five, and I can finish another got, uh, dice set, which is nice. Very nice, I said it twice. We've got a wasp here, I can do four damage, it just needs one. It needs two, and the gorgon. Okay, that needs six, six, six. Oh, which I did not even get close to. So, I'm going to use this now. Okay. Um, look, I think I will roll again just to keep these going through. I think I will actually do that as well just to give him a bit of a fighting chance. Um, I can potentially activate him as well for the next turn. I think I might just while I've got the chance and then we'll focus on this thing which actually I can kill it in one turn I believe thanks to these dice I'm saving actually I'm gonna do the six last because I think I might double it yes very nice so that uh, little item is a bit more powerful than I thought when you complete an enemy total slot by putting the exact number on it. So it's, you know, even if it said up to six, if I just put a two and a four, that's exactly six. It'll double the latest dice, which is very handy. So I can't afford these, but I can afford an apple, which heals me by six. I don't think that's worth a gold coin, so I'm going to let that go. Another lich and a golem. Okay, that's pretty handy. Four, four, three, and six. I think I was going to put the two there. I'm going to... Should I roll? Why not? 
I can actually do this again now. Thank you. And I'm going to just do that there. It wasn't exact, so I didn't get a double that time, but that's quite all right. Toad, slimy and golem. Oh, and unseely. Okay, don't know what that was, but that could be helpful. That my seer has blocked that dice. And in fact, I think I'm just going to take him out right now. Need a four, even seven. Hey, what? Oh, yeah, I'm going to do this. Nice, that paid off. And do it again. That paid off. And do it again. That'll do. <laughs> I'm going to finish that. We've got an even. We've got a four. Who's more dangerous? Tell you what. Give me some more dice, will you? <laughs> Thank you. Easy seven there. Can I get an exact seven here? No. Unless I roll. Ah, that's right. Uh. Hmm. He's tempting to keep that. I'm going to do this one more time. Okay. Heal you. Two, four, seven. And then I can just load this up as well. The next two, three. Oh, oh, slimy piece. Didn't see that, you sneaky. Uh, that's all right. I have to end my turn. Thankfully, that killed the what was his name? The dungeon master that popped up before I spawned this. So that's okay. I'm uh, <laughs> out of trouble there. Um, that's all right. We can get that easily. I'm going to heal you. I'm going to pop you there. Pick my prize and move on. Up to five gold coins now, so I should be able to buy something nice for the next shop. Now I can keep or replace my companion. Two doubles and a five. Paint a random rare item. One, two, two, five. Heal your hero by two and silence an enemy. Any. Does absolutely nothing. But starts with 30 health. <laughs> uh, irresistible force paradox. Okay, that's, that is quite funny. And he probably is a bit tanky, but I think we can do better. I like the idea of the artist. A bit vulnerable. This might be tricky to achieve, but... Random rare items is uh, tempting. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. And we do have the double here already. So, three. When you fold all enemies in the first turn, gain a gold coin. Triple your chance to roll a blue dice. Gain silver coins equal to the number of items. I like this. Triple your chance for a blue dice. More blue dice would be fantastic, especially now that we've got a little expensive companion here. Beautiful. Well, these guys are a bit tougher now. Minotaur, 15 and 4. Thorn Shell, 20 and 2. Corrupt Alchemist, 4 and 2. Vulture, 2. Interesting. Here is a... Interesting little roll. I'm actually going to put that here, I think. Because there was a 2 there I need, so I didn't want to be left short. Uh, I'm just going to do this straight away. What do we get? Shield of Revenge. When a hero takes five or more damage, gain plus one dice for your next roll. Okay. Sounds reasonable. Uh, what have we got? A couple of fours. I think I can kill you quicker, so we're going to do that. Get you out of my hair. And roll some dice. Roll some more dice. There's the two. Gonna roll once more. Yeah, I might stop there before I get myself into trouble. So, okay, that can only be used once per stage. That's fair enough. Uh, I didn't get my four, but I think I can just work on chipping down this health. Can't do it exactly though, so I wonder if it's worth. Maybe I'm just gonna save those for next turn. We'll take a little bit of damage here. Hopefully, they don't murder my artist. Okay. 
Could have done that the other way around, so I got the four dice back, but anyway. Um, that's okay. I'm gonna do two damage to someone. No, I shouldn't roll. Could I? No. Going to play it safe. Cop the two damage, hopefully not to the artist. There we go. And here he is anyway. Alright, this is fine. This is fine. I'm going to roll. I'm going to heal you, actually. I'm just going to heal you before I forget. Um, this is risky, but let's roll. Save these. I'm going to get you exactly and get that five back. Um, and I'll save it. Okay, so we come out of that okay. We've got an item out of it. We've got a, full, uh, a stronger artist now. Raven needs a six. Three, three. A big rat. Alright, lots of healing items too. Which is good to see. We need a four, but I think I'd rather heal. I can actually do this and get this out of the way right now. Should I roll? I'm going to roll. Well, that kind of paid off. Uh, I'm just going to heal you. I'm going to... Beat you. Get my two back. There we go. I need some threes and fours, please. Thank you. <laughs> okay, somebody's listening. You're gone. Should I roll? Okay. I'm gonna pop that there, pop that there. Um, I'm just gonna heal you, actually. Keep that, and I've got my double for next turn as well. Assuming I can... Oh, I should have actually focused on that. Anyway. Cloak, Luxstone, or Swift Glove. I've only got three coins. Every stage start, your hero blocks the first attack. That's pretty nice. When you fold all enemies in the first turn. Yeah, I don't think that's likely. I'm going to get the Cloak. Chupacabra. Okay. Nice. Oh, this is nice. I'm just going to... Don't need the one, do I? Copy there straight away. Then we can use this straight away. What did I get? Every three rolls gain a silver coin. I'll take it. Absolutely I will. All right. All the specific ones I need are fours. I have none of. But I don't need a six, so I'm going to do this. There's a four. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just get rid of you straight up. I'm going to roll again. Keep you. I'm going to be you. Am I? Yeah, I think I am actually. Just so I can get those dice back. Um, I can do it. If I do it exactly, is that going to give me the red dice back? Yes, it is. Perfect. Perfect. So I'm just going to chuck that straight to you. Um, all these dice are going to go to waste. So I think I'm just going to actually use this and roll. Hold on. I can finish this now, actually. Keep you. You're gone. You're gone. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, that needs three, four, five. Interesting. Whoa, two blues. Very good. I'm actually going to get this out of the way right now. Get my rare item. We got the Rod of Want. 
When the gold dice set is complete, hero skill becomes available. That's interesting. Okay. All right. What do we want here? Is that two and under? Yes. I'm hoping I'll get that second two back. Maybe I misunderstood. I'm going to do this. Get you out of here. Love to see it. Three, four, five. Um, Jesus. There's your three. There's another three. Four. Might uh, keep those here. I well, don't really have a choice now, do I? Make two damage, not a problem. There's our five. This dude's appeared, which is fine. Uh, I'm going to put the four here. I'm going to lose that so I can keep the double. These are just sacrifices, I guess. I just want to risk that to roll, but I don't think I do. Oh my god, I didn't attack. <laughs> I just pressed end turn. Okay. My bad. There's our five. I'm actually going to load you up now. Um, change that for a four. Be there. Actually attack this turn. Yes, that's good. Helps when you actually attack the monster. Alright, another item selection. I've got four coins. I can get the Glimmery Ration. Healy Hero for amount of silver coins you dropped last stage. Okay. When you fold all enemies in the first turn, gain a random item. I think I did do that once, but I don't think it's going to be common enough. This card during Victoria you gain 15 gold coins. Absolutely not. When purchased, heal your hero. So it's just a one time heal. I suppose I could re roll as well, but I, no, I think I'll just grab it. It's up to 40 now. I mean, it's just a bit of insurance, I guess. All right. Leeches, Scorpion, Homunculus. Right away, going for the uh, double and the five for the rare item. Chameleon Tail. Every stage start a random dice, gain a random color. Okay, don't mind that. Uh, I can also use this because this is loaded up from before. Plenty happening. I think I just need to take you out straight away. Should have done the six last. I keep getting uh, two and three. Absolutely, we'll take that. I think I think I do need to roll. Okay, so now we can go three and three. Um, I think I'm just going to heal, actually. Save these for next time. Oh, that's right. First attack is always blocked, thanks to my... Uh, what was it? My cloak. Beautiful. So I didn't actually lose any health there, which is fantastic. What is that? Orange dice. Drop on enemy damage slot to reduce. Okay. Interesting. I think I'm... Uh, I'm going to save that. I could finish this right now as well. Which is kind of tempting. But is it the right thing to do? In hindsight, no. But hey. Three damage, I can live with that. So, I'm going to finish this now. Can also roll again. Maybe I won't be greedy.
Demon, 111. Angel, 6 and 7. That was unfortunate. That was a blue. <laughs> Not that it matters because it's a 5 anyway, but. Drop an enemy damage slot to reduce. So I can. Doesn't necessarily help me. I'm thinking this is probably just. Better. Another chameleon tail? What was that again? Every stage start a random dice scans a random colour. Okay, so it's going to happen twice every stage now. I suppose. Um, Alright, I need to defend myself here. So I can... That's the exact two, so that needs to go there. Oh, I should have done it last. I <laughs> can never remember. It's alright. Um... I think it's probably safer to defeat the rat first and foremost. I might just pop you there. Get ready for next turn. It's going to do some damage. Not too bad. Okay, red dice, blue dice. I can get you exactly. Um, let try and roll for some ones here. About the best I can do. Ooh. Um, hmm. Not finding the ones at the moment, am I? There's one. I want to be quick about it. At least it's giving me plenty of chances to roll. Um, gonna need to use this one up, I think. There we go. Worth it. Put a two there, I can put a four there. There's my double for next next turn. Um, get rid of you. Okay, can't use any of those. Nope. How close are we? Stage 26 out of 31. Not far to go. I have five coins. Another chameleon tail. Hmm. May as well. What does that mean? Three coloured dice on the first turn now. Don't think I'm going to swap. Silence all enemies, does nothing. No way. Keep my artist. Doing some good work for me. The hand, three, four, five, twelve, 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 two, two, one. Interesting. Okay. Didn't roll a five. Yes, I did. Did roll a five. I'm going to do this first, just to see if there's another 5, there is not. I think I'll just do it, even though it was a healing item. Gambler's Purse. When you discard a dice but not using it, gain a silver coin. Okay, so at least my dice won't be wasted anymore. I'll do this again, actually. And again. And again. That'll do. 2, 2, 1... You're out of here. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. That's what I was aiming for. Um... as well top up there I suppose do another roll really need to defeat this thing Okay. Your 
you're gone. You're gone. You're healed. Okay, what have we got? Not a five, unfortunately, but you are definitely going there. Give me a five. There it is. So, keep those as the double. Heal you. Heal that. Beautiful. When I get these, we'll get uh, turned to coins, right? So now up to five gold, which is lovely. Crossborn, subject number seven and Chimera. Any, 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 but he has 10 damage. He needs to go. Gone, gone. Ooh. Gone. So, I think I will get this out of the way. What do we get? Liar. Every stage starts, silence random enemy. Don't know what that does, but that's good. Um, I think I could do with a roll. And another roll. Less productive. I can... I can't kill you, but I can do this. But you are less likely to kill me. Um, I think I need to get that out of the way just to make sure I can actually get him. Well, they're beating up on the artist, which I don't like. It's five and up, which I can't do. Too bad. It's gonna do five damage to you know, the artist again. Love to heal the artist, but I really want him dead. I think I have to keep that. Those for next turn. Lockstone, Cloud Amethyst, or Templar's helmet. When skill used, heal hero by one. All items offered in the shop will be epic. All future items have a one higher tier rarity. That's great, but... Near in the end, there's not going to be any future shops, so I think that's the answer. Reroll and hope for a two gold item. Not so lucky. That's alright. The Hydra. I don't think I'm ready for this. When unfolded, unfold your Hydra head. Which of these? End turn. Unfolds itself if the Hydra is still unfolded, and then he triples to defeat. Right. Wish me luck. <laughs> what have we got? I can... Is it worth going for this item again? Probably not. Probably not. I think I just need to focus on rolls. I think I need to do this. At least I can take out those with a light, a uh, little weak triple. Could do that as well. I don't know if that's smart, but if it gets it out of my hair, that's not a bad thing. I just focus on chipping away at this, I suppose. I think I might be in a bit of strife here. My poor artist. No triples this time, but enough to roll a few times. I'm not getting return on investment from it, though. <laughs> Absolutely not. Wow. That screwed me every possible way. Well, that's fine. OK, 
Keep these at bay. Minimize the damage I'm taking. Just chip away. Oof. They attack as soon as they spawn. That's brutal. Can't roll at all. No triples. I'm in danger. The artist, we uh, early knew you. Okay, that was a good investment. Turn six into seven. Aim. Into six. Five into six. I think I just need to heal straight up. I do have a triple, so I can at least ease you off. I can actually get two of them away from me. Oof. Definitely won't do that because that'll heal me as well. Um, I think I need to go take those heals when they present themselves to me because otherwise I'm just going to cop it. Keep rolling. I do have a triple I can keep you away. And just chip, chip, chip at this. Oof. And the unfortunate thing is I'm not going to get lucky with those healing items every turn like I was just then. I need rolls though. I'm happy just to roll with that. Because every roll heals me as well, so I'm just going to do this as long as I can. Don't mind that at all. Triple ones. Triple ones, thank you very much. Triple twos. Which I'm not unhappy about. Go to 10 on him. A few more heals up. If I can keep it up at that pace, I should be able to outlast them. He rolls in, get a little heal in. Do I have a triple? I do, that's not too bad. You need to take out his highest health stack there, which was 99. Now it's down to 9. Alright, what have we got here? Take that. Only one roll, unfortunately. My only triple are fours. Which... I think I'll... Mm, I think I have to just go for the offence. I think. Um, this turn's going to hurt. Down to 18. Give me some big ones. Here we go. Heal. 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 Okay, this isn't bad. Alright. First things first, get the little ones out with some triples. Get you out of my hair, I'm gonna heal with that. Look, this is uh this is in reach. Okay, no fives. What have I got? Eight, ten, twelve. Mm. I think I'm better off just getting him out of my hair for one turn. Will I survive this? <laughs> no fives again. Hmm. What have I got? Ten. I'm not going to do it. And, uh, no. Am I? No, I'm not. Damn, I think I'm stuffed here. I can take out one of these, and that'll do 
I take out one of these and then I need to win next turn. Ah, uh, uh, one came back. That's right. Damn, I thought I was just going to sneak in there. But there you go. Interesting little game. I really like the gameplay loop. I love the uh, the modifiers and the effects that these items can have on your run. And I really like the companions and the, the dice rolls, of course, are always fun. Um, and let's see how these characters change things. We've got the queen. Her skill is you choose any dice slots to complete. If you get a seven and a one, could be powerful. I mean, I really like the idea of rolling two dice and getting that loop going. But that could be good. King. Decrease all total slots by gold coin amount. Max 10. Interesting. So you really just hoard your gold and nerf everything around you. And then there's plenty more. Ooh, the Hydra. <laughs> the boss turned hero. Holy moly. Kraken. All these planned updates. Pirates. Nemesis. Nemesis is all the monsters. And then you got pirates as well. And these are all... What are these? Will be available with the free Nemesis update soon. And this game isn't even out yet. And they're already guaranteeing all these free updates. That's pretty good. These are all just locked behind the demo. I can get the warrior by wishlisting. That's pretty good. Randomize all the exact slots. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. I'm going to leave it there. So thank you for watching. Once again, this is Dice and Fold. I'm going to leave a link in the description. You can jump to the Steam page, wishlist it, check out the demo. The game is out in about a week on the 24th of June, according to the Steam page. And uh, yeah, check it out. It's quite fun. And uh, once again, if you like this video and want to see more like it, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot and keeps you in the loop when new videos drop. And if you have any game recommendations for your upcoming indie games like this one, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. So thanks again, and I will see you next time.